Hey there! I've been watching some Greg Hansen YouTube videos about um, doing assembly and I'm all fired up to make an assemblage box so I have pieces picked out and I'm going to show you how I'm putting it together. Let's get started. Lord knows I have a lot of stuff around here that I can use for assemblages. I've done a few in the past and I really enjoy it. So I have this box from Canvas Core Brands and um, I don't think they carry it anymore but I've had it in my stash and I pulled it out to use it today. Um, the top part with the peepholes was an extra part, a separate part. So um, this is, I think, how I'm going to have things laid out. I have some old bottle caps and some pictures of weird people um, that I found online. And some pieces of hardware and this little bare naked baby. So I'm going to get those glued down. Then I also have an old handwriting book. It's like a practice book. And each page had this little insert that was separate in there. It was on a string in the um, spine of the book. And each one has a quote or a saying on it. So I think those are going to go around the outside of this inner piece to give it some contrast to the box frame. So I have those and then I have some, if I can pick them up, some Tim Holtz paper dolls and I think I'm going to put those down in the corners and then some ephemera for in the upper corners. So I am going to go off camera and get this glued down. Oh, the reason that I have the pieces of wood in the bottom here is I want this to be raised up so it's about halfway um, in halfway inside the frame of the box. And then I have some little blocks glued into the corner. So in the behind here I cut a piece of heavyweight paper that's behind the holes to hold everything. So I'm going to start gluing and I'll be back. Okay this is how far I am grabbed my silicone glue and it was just stuck tight. There wasn't any way I stuck wire down in there. I stuck nails down in there. It will not come out so there's a good plug somewhere. So I cut it right there with the craft knife. Just sliced it open, squeezed it out from the bottom and that's what I use for the metal pieces. And then I just used regular old Tombow multi-liquid glue for the paper to paper and for the these quote papers around the edges. And I didn't mention but I just used Gorilla wood glue to put the support pieces inside the box. So. That's where I'm at. The baby is holding its goods, but it's sitting safely propped up. Wait, just I'm waiting for it to dry, but that will go right there. So everything is glued here, except for this piece. I did put glue on it, but it's not touching enough, evidently. So I'm going to have to probably put some in here so it can go against that bottom edge and stick. So that's where I'm at. That's what I used. And then oh, I have a old covered handle I think that's going to go on here. And then some Tim Holtz paper dolls, which I can never quite pick up. I like these guys here. 
with their dogs. Same dog. <laughs> and then just some little ticket pieces, I think, will go up here in these corners and on the top edge. And that there. So I'll work on getting this glued down, wait for the baby to dry, and then I can put it all together. Thanks, Greg Hansen, for the good ideas. Okay, everything is dry, and the glue is all dry, so I thought I would like to cover part of the back of the box just to kind of finish it off. So I have this tea-dyed piece of ledger paper. I think it was from a church. It was just a copy. So I am just going to use some matte medium and just put it down on the back just to cover it up. There's my phone. So I'm just going to put this on the back of the paper. And yes, it's probably going to buckle. I don't mind wrinkles when I glue collage papers down or cover papers like this, especially if they're meant to look old. I think the wrinkles kind of add to the look. I just don't want air bubbles underneath so that my papers end up lifting off in places. But I just didn't want the matte medium necessarily to be all over everywhere on the back. So I'm just going to center that and I don't want to push super hard because you don't want to dislodge things on the front. That glue is dry but it's not fully cured so I'm just going lightly but I like the way this looks and then I can if I decide I want to sell this piece I can always add a signature on top of this paper but I like it I'm probably going to keep it unless you want it then if you want it let me know in the comments and we can figure that out too So I had these, there were handles from old antique flags, you know, like the little flags the kids would wave at parades and whatnot. So I just painted them with a wash of black acrylic paint and then I added the handle and put these little, it's a seven, seven gypsies, little self-adhesive dome pieces. To cover up the holes from the front because I glued the handle on so I just wanted to cover those holes and then the Tim Holtz paper dolls and I'm not sure if you can see everything and yesterday I realized when I was putting this together and showing you different pieces when I filmed all of that yesterday I had my iPad, which I use for filming, flipped in the opposite direction from where I usually have it. It was going the other direction. And so I usually know the camera is here, but I or over on the right hand side, but I was holding everything over here, which is what I'm doing today. So <laughs> I hope that you're seeing stuff. Yeah, I'm checking here. Yeah, so it should be. But I, I was holding everything like way back here, way back here, or way off camera. So I apologize for my shoddy camera work. But I hope you enjoyed 
watching the process of this little box assemblage. It was fun to do. It was frustrating at times trying to get everything stuck with the right kind of glue and whatever, but um, everything's down there tight. And oh, that was the other thing. The baby, I had that little plastic baby in this spot. And no matter what I used, that glue on that baby would not dry. So the things that I had the baby holding wouldn't stick to the baby and the baby wouldn't stick to the paper. So I finally just gave up and put that away for a different project and added this little frame with the picture in it. So that was that change. So I hope you enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up. And in the meantime, go make some art. Bye.